Welcome to part 12 of the combo series. In this month's edition, we're going to be looking at a level two drill. This is designed for orange, green belts and above. This drill is quite straightforward, but has a nice uh, flow to it with some of the new sort of techniques that you should be sort of uh, starting to learn at orange belt, but then mastering at green belt. Uh, so this technique is a chundan apchago, same leg without putting the leg down, sandan tolichago, followed by a dui frigichago, uh, followed by a chukdo judigi. So you start with your back leg, you perform a front snap kick to the body, and then roundhouse to the head, uh, making sure to keep your knee at the right chamber. You then put your heel down and spin immediately into the spinning and hook kick, take the leg all the way back, and then come through with the push kick. The idea is you're attacking the person at multiple levels, and then if you miss with the spinning hook kick or it goes wrong, you have a follow-on kick, and this shows that you're on balance. So again, we're gonna look at this in four elements, the first being line work. Uh, again, you would build up to this, so start walking forward, snap kick, uh, roundhouse, snap kick, roundhouse, all the way up, and then go back, uh, add in the hook kick, and then add the push kick to finish at the end. Element two now is partner work. Uh, and again, this is all about distancing. A lot of people are worried uh, about getting close to their partner. So the idea is you touch the dough block with your snap kick and then get close to the ear with the roundhouse so you know you're the right distance. Then when you add in the hook kick, the idea is that your partner sways back or ducks under it. And, and again, because you know it's coming, you can start to practice um, timing the hook kick. Uh, don't try and block a hook kick unless you plan to take down. And then with the chukdo uh, judiki, it's good to have a little bit of conditioning. So start lightly, just touching. Uh, when you're comfortable that you're hitting your partner in the correct point, you're not going too low or too high, uh, right on the stomach, start to get a little bit of conditioning going on your stomach, but don't kick your partner so hard. Uh, always look after your partner. Pad work now, what I would use for this is a shield and a paddle. So again, you move around and you can call out the usual game of one, two, three, four. So on number one, you just do the first snap kick. Number two, you do the snap round. Try and do it as quick as you can. Hit in both targets. And again, always go for the feedback, uh, making a, a good definite impact sound on the snap kick and the roundhouse. And then going straight into the spinning hook kick for your distance. And again, look at the target before you kick it. And then with the push kick, you can put maximum power to try and move your partner back before you do it on the other side. In free sparring, I really like the snap and roundhouse kick to give levels and, and check people's reactions. So are they so this person who stays there? Are they moving back? And then you get a good ex uh, idea of whether to put the spin and hook kick in. And again, like I was saying earlier, after your spin and hook kick, often um, people feel like it's the end of your combination. I always call it the full stop or explanation in a combination of spinning kick. So to have the ability to put something after your spinning kick that is going forward is, is a good idea. And a push kick is a great technique to put any time, even if they block it, you can put your partner off balance. So hope you've enjoyed uh, this drill uh, and the elements involved with it to help train it. Um, please always train safely and look after your partner. And again, um, look forward to seeing you all next month for the series. Thank you very much. Thanks, Sue.